Me and my squad was on fire this game. I mean, straight fire. We beat this team seven to nothing. Score is like five to nothing. I get the ball. The dude that was guarding me, he was he was plastered on me like like snow sticking to the ground. Like he just kind would not let me breathe an inch. I hit him with a jab step left. I went right like I was gonna drive. I back step and I hit the shot right in his. I'm talking about right in his face, y'all. I'm talking about right in his grill, like. I mean, to the point where people in the crowd was like, oh, my goodness. Now, mind you, this is just a recreational game. You know, it wasn't, um, this wasn't like a, like a game with referees or anything like that. It wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't like a league game or nothing. It's a recreational game. Basically, a street ball inside of a gym. You know, it was cold outside, so we had rec. So, score 7 nothing. we ended up beating these guys. And these guys were pissed. Now, here comes the moment where, where they're getting rowdy. We're, I'm not necessarily getting rowdy, but, you know, a couple, a couple of my boys are getting rowdy. You know, we're getting ready to fight. Like, it's, it's legit getting ready to be a fight up in here. So, the guy, the guy that I eyed that was guarding me, and remind you, after I hit that shot in this girl, he, he was fouling me the whole way. Like, he wouldn't even let me get the ball off. Like, like he was holding my arm. Like, this like this dude, he, he I, I clearly put him out of character. And mind you, I wasn't even talking on noise. I was never a noise talker. And basketball, you know, my boys, they talked all the noise, you know, they, they were kind of hype, we were kind of hype, you know, there was like, there was like a little rivalry, they, they hadn't beaten us, and then they, they, we beat them 6-1, to because it's time game, like the games are time, so we beat them 6-1, to then we beat them 7-1, to so, so these guys are pissed, now the point that I'm making, these guys are pissed, pissed to the max, and so the guy that was guarding me, he comes up to me, like, my my boys are already rowdy. They're going they're going at whoever was guarding them. One of my boys he's setting up like he's getting a spear guy. The guy that comes at me, uh, that <laughs> I was guarding, he looks at me and this is what it sound like he had said. It sound like he said, "Are you fronting on my frat?" And I'm like, "What?" I look I'm, in my head. I'm like I'm looking. Around, I'm like, "What the heck is going on with this dude's head? Like, what are you talking about?" And then he says it again, like, "Are you fronting on my frat?" I think he was trying to get himself hyped, you know, hyped up to fight me. I'm not going to lie. Initially, I was going to score up. I was like, hey, if you want this fight, let's go. The, the younger Keith probably would have probably would have fought this guy. But I was a little bit more seasoned. I was about 22 years old at the time, 23. You know, been through a little bit, and I, I kind of knew fighting wasn't, wasn't the best result for this situation. And then when I looked around, all the young boys, now you got to remind me, in this neighborhood that I was in at the time, these young boys looked at me as the GOAT. Like, they really looked at me. They kind of looked up to me, you know, even though I didn't necessarily interact with them every day. But when I was around them, I was so thorough that I just kind of forced them to respect me. You know what I mean? Even though they really kind of didn't know me like that, but they knew me enough to look up to me and respect, you know, what I do. I knew if I got into this fight, it would, it would make it seem like it's okay for them to get in random fights like this when they're upset. So now in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I got to figure out how to stop this. But it's it's chaotic right now. Like, it's chaotic. No one's hit anybody yet. You know, no one, you know, no one's hit anybody. Everybody's still kind of just yelling. It's getting, it's getting a little bit aggressive. And on top of this, if we do complete this fight, this could end wreck for the rest of the, for the, rest of the year. <laughs> everybody like, at like that time, everybody loved coming to wreck Tuesday, Thursday. Everybody loved coming. This could be the end of it right here. I'm also got that in mind. But of course, more importantly, the young boys is looking at, I mean, they're looking, they're not looking at anybody else. They're looking dead at me. Next thing I know, one of the dudes on the opposer team told my boy, he said, listen, man, calm your boys down and I'm going to calm my boys down. And my boy was like, all right, bet. So my boy, he told her to calm down. I was already kind of calmed down, so I, I went back to the bleachers and sat down. My boys, my other boy that was giving a spirit, oh my God. <laughs> I've never seen him fight before. I, I still haven't seen him fight to this day. But, I mean, he, he, my boy, you know, the one boy I'm talking about that was giving a spirit, he definitely looked like he could, he could handle his own, to be honest. But I wasn't expecting him to set up for that spirit. I was, <laughs> I was kind of shocked. Um, I wasn't laughing in the moment, but because I, I knew there was a high chance he was going to do it. But in the same breath, man, like, I, I'm lucky he didn't because that could have set things off. Yeah, the guy on the opposing team, man, he was great, man. He he, he calmed this boy down. We, we calmed down. Just a little bit of a rivalry, man. L like a little light rivalry. You know, it just we just happened to meet up on the court at the same time, a couple times, and it's a little bit of a rivalry there. Things got a little tense, and luckily, uh, <laughs> nobody 
fuck, man. My goodness, man. But that was probably the, the greatest game. We, my, me and my best friends have played together. You know, we beat them 7-0, time game. Defense was awesome. Offensively, we was very efficient. You know, we moved the ball around well. We hit open players. We rebound. We did, you know, we did everything that we, uh, that we were supposed to do that, that game, in, in that street game. The recreational game, you know what I mean? I don't know not recreational game, not necessarily a street game, but kind of, kind of was, but at any rate, you know, we're up 17 to 10. We're the Chicago Bears in the white jerseys. I don't know why EA matches us up like this. Like, it's a user pick, man. My goodness. I'm not really sure why they do it. It just uh, it's a little irritating. Usually my opponent would quit. He didn't. So I said, you know what? Let, let's just keep the ball rolling. You know, it's not the end of the world. You know, at least the jerseys are different. You know, so I'm in the white jerseys. He's in the blue jersey, whatever you want to call him. Wide up on the left hand side. We got Tyree Cohen getting a nice catch. Right, they getting the first down at 38. That that was paramount um, to this game. And we end up getting that bat down. Check out this run right here, man. It's your boy. Break that tackle. Then we get all the way down here and we break this tackle. Jordan Howard, you are ridiculous. We almost go to touchdown and we have forced my opponent to quit. Your boy. 